I just want to give a shout out to everybody. We have officially reached 12,000 subscribers on the channel. This is such a huge milestone. I am truly grateful and I'm very appreciative to everybody who's subscribed to the channel, who's been watching my content since day one. You know, I, I try to put out as much content, as much good content for you guys as I can. You know, I work a 40 hour week. I'm a father, I'm a husband. You know, my time is crunched, you know, and I spend a lot of time with my son, but I wanna make sure I have a responsibility to this channel and to really keep it going for you guys. You know, so I, and I like to, to, you know, diversify the content a lot. You know, I like to do very different topics and stuff like that. Marvel, DC, horror. I just didn't wanna be about one thing. And you know, you guys have shown so much appreciation, so much support for the channel. It means the world to me, you guys. 12,000 subscribers, that is incredibly huge. Let's get to 20K, you guys. Hopefully we can get to 20K by the end of the year. That might seem like a stretch, you know, but it, 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 the work can get done and it can be accomplished. So again, I wanna say thank you guys so much for continuing to support Zero Productions and I hope you guys stick with me for the long run. What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Krishna. Welcome to Zero Productions. You guys, we got our first possible look at Riri Williams, AKA Ironheart in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, you guys. Now, if you guys have been following my channel and you guys have been following all the goody little updates, you would know that she's gonna make her MCU debut in Wakanda Forever later this year. In fact, we just might possibly see her in the first teaser trailer or official trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever next week at Comic-Con. How exciting is that, you guys? Look, I'm excited for the world of, introduce, of introducing Riri Williams. I wasn't the biggest fan until I read one of her comic book runs. And I was like, okay, I can definitely get behind this. I love it. And in these photos, it's their promo photos, but for the most part, you can say that they're going to be accurate, right? Just like the ones that released not too long ago with the Tuma, with Namor, that's most likely going to be the look of them in the film. Um, but I like her suit. This is like her Mark I. And it's so reminiscent of Tony Stark's first suit in the first Iron Man film when he made it in that cave with a bunch of scraps. That is so exciting for me, you guys. I cannot wait to see her really make this suit you know, in Black Panther Wakanda Forever and just how it fits the narrative of the story of her, you know, possibly visiting Wakanda and her and Shuri and stuff like that because her and Shuri have interacted in the comic books before and I know they're probably going to switch up the storyline of, of Ironheart, honestly, of how, you know, because in the comic books it takes place in Chicago or whatever, but I feel like her background is going to come from Oakland. That's what I feel like what's going to happen because of the ending of the first Black Panther film. You know, and you know how T'Challa told, you know, Shuri, hey, you know, I want you to stay out here and run whatever. I definitely feel like that's how they're going to introduce Shuri and Riri Williams, which I cannot wait for. And I think it's a brilliant, genius idea, you guys. I'm really, really pumped. But we also got a little bit of a glimpse at Nakia as well, you guys. I cannot wait to see the return of Nakia. I love Nakia so much in the first Black Panther film. I just love all the women of the Black Panther movie. They were all just badass. Whole Dorma Laje, Okoye, of course. And when they first showed up in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, that was probably like my favorite part. It was just like, oh, so reminiscent of the world of Wakanda, you guys. I'm really, really looking forward to it. But also, you guys, we got some casting news as well. As of today, Alden... Aaron Wright, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. He played Han Solo in the Solo movie for Disney. He is going to be in the series Ironheart. No information on what role he's playing, but as of today, he's officially in the series. How exciting, you guys. I'm really looking forward to this series. Like, really, really looking forward to it. I really want to know what's going to happen. I really want to know if we're going to possibly see the AI form of Tony Stark, just like in the comic book run. Is Pepper Potts going to be in this? Since she's technically the CEO of Stark Industries. So why not? And I feel like, you know, you have to have it tie into Armored Wars. You have to have it tie in to War Machine. You have to. It, it, it all would make sense, you know, of how, you know, how close, you know, War Machine was with, you know, Tony Stark. You know, they're, they're you know, best buds. You know, why not have War Machine in this Iron Heart series as a potentially lead into his Armored War series, which essentially the storyline is a bunch of people are after Tony Stark's, you know, tech. And, you know, Rhodey has to put a stop to it. You know, and Riri Williams has a form of some kind of Stark tech. 
So it all really, you know, comes together. It really does, you guys. But I'm really, really pumped to see this. I cannot wait to see the official first looks of everything, you guys. I'm really digging everything I've seen so far from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I'm really looking forward to this film. But not only that, you guys, we got some Emmy nominations. Some Emmy nominations for some of the Marvel Disney Plus series, you guys. Let's dive deep into them. Okay, so Loki has received six Emmy nominations. Moon Knight has received eight. What If Animation has received three. And one in particular is going to Chadwick Boseman for voicing T'Challa for the one last time. Oh, I hope he wins it. I hope he wins it, you guys. And then Hawkeye has received two. How exciting. A lot of people are surprised. They're like, what? No way. This, is, this, is, this can't be right. Look. Some of the Marvel Disney Plus shows have been really good. They have been. I'm not going to lie. You know, I really enjoyed Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I really enjoyed WandaVision. Loki was a spectacle. Uh, Hawkeye was a great Christmas time. You know what I'm talking about? I, I, Moon Knight, uh, I've had my feelings about Moon Knight. It wasn't my, it wasn't the favorite, you know what I mean? But it was entertaining at the end of the day. And some of the work, some of the performances that we've seen, like Oscar Isaac's performance was stellar. It was really, really good. But, you know, you got to give credit to where it's credit to do. You know, um, they put in the time, they put in the effort into some of these shows. And, you know, the, to be to be nominated, you know, four shows to be nominated is, is is pretty impressive, honestly. But who knows, you guys? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this possible first look at the Mark I suit for Riri Williams as Ironheart. Thoughts and opinions, you guys. Let me know what you think. Post your comments down below. And thank you guys for watching SeaWorld Productions. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.